it's Samantha from Scrap Masters Paradise and I'm just going to do a scrap process video. I'm not sure how this is exactly how this exactly is going to go. I might do some voiceovers and I might just do some music. It depends on um, if it needs explanations or not. I'm really just going with the flow here. I'm going to just keep recording and speed through this later so I can listen to music as I scrapbook, which is my usual way I scrapbook. So I've got some pictures of my husband. I got printed off of Instagram. Um, this is for when he graduated um, with his master's degree. It's just some cute little pictures. I've got the food that we planned for his, when he defended his thesis, um, we had the food spread and then him getting his final paper signed that he's got to turn in so that it's official that he graduated and then some little UT graduation cupcakes. So these are just four by four photos, so I'm gonna mat them on um, some of these journaling cards. I'm going to be using some of these from the We Are Memory Keepers line, and this is the Tangerine line from We Are Memory Keepers. So I'm gonna stick with that line for all of these, and I'll have shopping list on the blog linked down below if you guys wanna check that out. Feel free to ask me questions and I'll do my best to explain what I'm doing. So we'll see where this goes and give this a thumbs up if you like this video and want more of these kind of videos. I'm just trying to arrange these photos and I'm going through these bins. I showed the bins in a previous video. I'm just going through the 4x6 cards to find the ones that I like. And this was kind of difficult with this line. It seemed like most of them were positioned for the other orientation instead of these upright images. So I had to work with mostly patterns. They didn't have many with any sort of labeling or journaling um, lines. So it was very difficult to find ones that were in the right orientation, but I ended up finding one that was so I could use that as my cover or my title card. Now I'm going through the three by fours and again the same thing. They were made for these ones are made for going upright, so it was hard for me to find ones in this collection that went the right way for this layout. They did have some, but they were for um, mostly putting little pictures on, and I didn't have little pictures for those. I'm just going through these, trying to find the ones I like the best. And I found a few. I turned on the light and hopefully you guys can see it a little bit better now. So I'm going to work to the side and have my layout going on that one side. I'm doing my title card now. I just added a little bit of journaling with a Project Life pen. I wanted to use something that would be acid free. I grabbed a pack of thickers to actually put the title on this card. And I just spell out the title with these thickers. The thickers make it super duper easy and they give it a little bit of a dimension. They're just one of my big scrapbook addictions. I just love thickers. So that one was done and they have to go in the other side of this layout um, or this pocket. So it was difficult for me to kind of like figure out how to put them in. So now I'm just lining my card up with my grid so that I can make sure my picture is straight on this card. The cards um, are a little bit skinnier than these 4x4 pictures, so it's hard to line them up exactly right because you can't just line them up with the edge of the card. So now I'm just putting a title on this little calendar card with some basic gray alphabet stickers. And we celebrated his graduation in May of 2013, so I just wrote out May 13. And now I'm going to grab my phone and look at the May's calendar because I wanted the days of the week to be on the right actual days instead of just, you know, randomly writing in the numbers. So that way we knew exactly when he graduated and what day it was. Um, so I circled the tin to make it stand out and I grabbed these All About a Boy Brads from Echo Park just to add an accent to that day. I really wanted the May 10th date to stand out. So now I'm going to stick this in the pocket protector and I have real difficulty <laughs> using these pocket protectors on the back like this. I'm arranging the journaling cards. Again, I'm going to grab one of these brads, but this one has an arrow on it. And so I want the arrow to point to the cupcakes, but I ended up having it hang off the card. So I had to make another hole and cover up that other hole with the arrow itself. And I'm going to secure this with some liquid adhesive, just some Tombow multi-purpose adhesive. 
And now I'm going to do some journaling about these little cupcakes. They are orange and white for University of Tennessee colors. And so I was just writing a little bit about the cupcakes on this journaling card. And again, I have a little trouble sticking the journaling card in the little holder. I'm going to switch gears just a little bit. Um, I'm going to work on some stamping here coming up soon. So I attached this picture and then I brought out some stamps. Again, rubbing on the back to activate that glue. I grabbed one of my Clownfish Colored SP Storage Binders. I also grabbed this Stingray Gray one. So in the orange one, I have some of my Happy Moments collection items. I've got dies and stamps in there. And then in the Stingray Gray one, I have some sentiments. So I grabbed the Congrats Mini Sentiment Stamp Set and this zigzag accent from one of the journaling cards collections. We have a stitch journaling card and a regular journaling card. And I never know which accents are with which set, but this is the zigzag element. So I just cut out some orange card stuck with that, grab some teal card stock, and I'm gonna use my Congrats mini stamp set. And this is Coastal Cabana ink from Stampin' Up. I, when I was positioning the stamp, I splotched some of the ink, so I had to flip the card over. It just says big congrats. I'm going to trim this down so I can layer it with that zigzag accent. I'm just doing some cutting and making this into a little banner shape layer. I'm just trimming and making adjustments for this layer and I'm having the worst time with this voiceover. It keeps cutting me off um, and I'm recording this in like teeny tiny little bursts and I don't realize when it stops recording so it's really annoying. But anyway, so I feel like it needs that finishing touch, so I grabbed some enamel dots from my mind's eye to use as kind of like anchoring tools that makes it look like the banner is attached with these little brads or enamel dots. And then I stick this in the pocket and call it done. I'm really happy with the way it looks so far, so I'm getting almost done. I've got to clean my stamp here in a second. I just use a Stampin' Up Stampin' Scrub. And I've had this for years and years. I think they've changed it now. It's different than the one that is shown. So there is the sentiments in the Stingray Gray. I just put miscellaneous sentiments in that one. And I just straightened up just a little bit. And I actually switched to the magnetic platform, which I'll show you in a second. Um, I do my journaling on this card here. And I'm just talking about how we spent the day with his parents. And it was really fun um, celebrating his big achievement and I'm using again that same project life pen. I end up writing way outside of that label shape. I've got to work on writing smaller. And so now I'm grabbing the layered stickers from that All About a Boy collection. I just grabbed some of the stars and added some of those on there. And you could also make stars with the silhouette or something um, and then just attach them with some dimensional adhesive and it would be the same thing as those. So I was going to journal directly on that striped paper but I felt like the dark stripes were just too dark. So I'm doing some journaling again on that aqua colored paper. I sliced it into strips and then I'm going to attach it to this card. It looks better that way so that you can see all the words and you're not left with those dark patches with the blue dark stripes. Well, this card completed, stuck it in there, and last card. So I decided to make a banner on this card, but I end up changing my mind. So I grabbed some orange cardstock, white cardstock, and I'm using the Build Banner number three stamp set. So I've got my Build a Banner stuff all in the same SP storage binder. It's also a clownfish one. So I just grabbed my stamp set here and I'm going to be using a couple of different colors of ink. I've got um, some gray from Stampin' Up, the Coastal Cabana color again, and then I think it's pumpkin pie. So I used an orange, a teal, and a gray color to do all of my banner shapes. So I stamped the sentiment one that says, Happy, Happy Day. And then in these stitched shaped banners, I'm going to be stamping. I'm gonna write out 2013, and I use the orange ink on the white cardstock and then the gray ink on the orange cardstock. So I messed up in the very beginning, but then I got into a flow and got them all stamped correctly. Just stuck those back in the binder and I grabbed 
the die cut that fits this and these die cuts are designed so that the inner edge of the die cut lines up with the edge of the stamp so you can align these super duper easy there's no guesswork they just line up super great so I am going to cut out all of these and that's why I switched to the magnetic platform. I really love this magnetic platform. It makes it so easy. No more washi tape. It just holds on. And you can just line up your stamp with your die and cut it out. And it's just super easy. And I'll show you here what this die looks like all cut out. It just leaves a little bit of a white edge around the image. You can see there it's perfectly aligned. You got a little bit of that white space around the image and alignment super easy. So I'm just going to cut all of these out the same exact way. Once I started cutting these out, I realized that there's no way these are going to fit on that tiny journaling card. So I knew I had to figure out something else to go um, with this banner and I loved the way the banner ended up looking. So I didn't want to just get rid of it. I definitely wanted to keep it but I could just tell already that those are way too big to fit across this little shape. And there's my last one, and now it's arranged in orange and white, which goes along with the UT colors, but they just do not fit on this journaling card. So I decided to string them across um, the cupcake picture. And again, you know, it's still four inches wide, so it wasn't gonna work. I just attached the happy, happy day to that other journaling card and called that one done. And I'm going to string this. I thought this was super cute. I strung this little banner across two different journaling cards. So I'm attaching three of these to this cupcake picture, and then I'm going to attach one to the adjacent journaling card. And I lined it up, just eyeballing it, but then when I stuck them in the journaling places, um, they didn't line up. So I had to actually pull the 2013 off and line it up actually in the journaling card. So then it finally lined up. And this is my last one to stick in, and it is done. I just love the way it looks. I was really pleased with how everything just coordinated together with the journaling cards and the inks and the stamps. It just ended up looking really great with that orange theme. So that is it. Make sure to like this and subscribe, and thanks for watching.